we're under the gun. Every moment of every day. Everything's in minutes. We have to be efficient seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It's a constant effort. Emergency, what is the problem? Bad clear. Imminent birth with hemorrhaging 12103 Southeast 276th Street. Medic 72 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 Medic we have constant pressure on the institution from trauma, from the emergency department, from doctors just trying to admit patients coming into the organization. Uh, our bed management folks have just been swamped by, by trying to manage a really large hospital. This is a big place here. Many of them range from uh, women that are in labor uh, to patients that are having heart transplants and everything in between. If we don't get patients out in a timely manner, we can't get patients in. The, the needs of the patients should drive everything that we do. It's all about the patient. Sometimes you start your day and you don't have any beds and you have 17 admissions and you have to juggle and toss and you're up to the last minute deciding who's going to go. So we need to be more efficient than we can be every minute of the day. Bed management is about placing the right patient in the right bed the first time. For years we've used a big magnetic whiteboard with colored tiles. I can tell you we've tried everything. Um, none of them worked. We're constantly in high census and really felt like we were faltering in turning those beds over. It would be a mad scramble to actually get that bed ready for the next individual. And that led to a lot of friction between nursing and environmental services. It impacts our ability to be able to provide the right care at the right time for these patients in the right setting. So to coordinate the needs of the patient with the expertise and talents of our nursing staff, our clinical staff, our medical staff in the right bed at the right time is the real value, I think, behind the premise system. It enables us to be able to see every floor and movement of patients and communicate to the staff. From the time the patient hits the emergency room through discharge, Everybody can see exactly what is happening with that patient and what clinical information is attached to that patient. We can't do that simply through anecdotal information. We needed that technology to really uh, provide the data, provide the information for us to make better decisions. When you look at length of stay, when you look at staff efficiency, when you look at the number of transfers we can avoid, look at the number of phone calls we can avoid, you can put the, the dollar figures to that based on your, your hospital operation. We're achieving service levels that are not heard of nationally. I think like the industry standard is, you know, consider good as 50 minutes. We're turning them around in less than 35. We definitely changed the paradigm from a reactive approach to a proactive approach. And I think it's almost as if we added another 30 or 60 beds uh, to our organization over the last five years. And these are virtual beds, I'll use a computer term for that, because we haven't actually increased our capacity during that time in terms of just the number of beds we have, but we've greatly increased our capacity to handle patient flow through the organization because of tools like the bed management system. We wake up each day implementing really cool technology that not only drives efficiency to the doctors and nurses like we've been talking about, but helps to save lives. Yeah, I think what the system has done for us, it's not only improved the morale of our employees that are involved with bed management, but our medical staff. This implementation it had, had an immediate transforming effect on, on the business units that the system was implemented for. And, and I've, I've not seen anything like that, it, just the immediate um, change that it, that it caused for both nursing and environmental services. We are creating a better patient experience the moment they hit the door to the moment they, they, they hit the door when they're leaving. And that's uh, a patient experience, but that's also a staff experience. The medical staff used to have to make many calls to get a patient into Harford Hospital. Now with a single call they can really uh, get the kind of assistance and service uh, to accommodate that patient uh, with a lot of ease of use. And when they're on the phone, having to call for beds, 
um, try and track down housekeepers, they can't be with the patient. Everybody's busy these days. Physicians and the pressure under physicians and hospitals, um, you know, to try, to try to be as efficient as possible is important. Our jobs as administrators to be, is to be able to provide the people who want to help our patients stay at the bedside to help them. I think as the hospitals become more efficient, and we have more information and the service assistants and the nurses and the doctors know where patients are, understand the capacity of the hospital, are able to make decisions with information rather than just making decisions in the blind. It allows them to do what they do best, which is deliver patient care. We can't do that simply through anecdotal information. We needed that technology to really uh, provide the data, provide the information for us to make better decisions. Now what we've done is we've created an entire proactive process that's kicked off when the patient's discharged. That bed is ready in an average of 32 minutes from the request, ready for that next patient. Very proactive. The other piece of it too is because the system is rich with data, we've been able to use the premise system and our portals and so on to be able to provide the information. In the past, a lot of systems are, are data rich, information poor, which means that there's a lot of data. It's just not easy to get the information you need at the right time out of it. And with this system, with its native tools, but also its ability to export to other systems, portals, Excel, and so on, we've now made the institution information rich. You have data to manage when your admissions and discharges are occurring. You have data to manage what times of day are busiest so that you can plan your staffing. So if I'd say anything about the efficiency, it would be the reduced numbers of phone calls from the staff on the floor and the folks who work up in the bed management system or bed board or the emergency room trying to figure out when their bed was going to be ready. And you can always also look from a dashboard perspective as to what's going on in a quick snapshot so that the leaders in the organization can become articulate when they're discussing what's going on. And they have data then to make decisions that will be best for patient care. With Premise on board, it really has allowed for us to grow our patient population, to manage that patient population. All you got to do is look at some length of stay, look at, look at the number of transfer, look at the phone call avoidance and you'll see that it's actually uh, a, a positive ROI. If we can reduce our length of stay by two-tenths of a day, it equates to a 40-bed unit. If we had one discharge a day, in addition to what we presently were doing, it would pay for the system. So it really makes me proud when the folks like our, our COO, our CNO, our, our director of our uh, emergency department, or the director or VP over our environmental services, says this system is helping me do what I need to be doing for the organization. So as we're driving that efficiency, as we're making it better and easier, and the folks that are on the front lines taking care of those patients say this system has make, made our operations better but made the information that we receive better, uh, th there's, there's no greater satisfaction than that. From my perspective, it gives me as the COO the tools that I need to try to manage a very large and complex organization. We're so complicated in an organization that if we don't have the information systems to provide us with the day-to-day -day information down to the uh, littlest details, if you will, regarding patient care, uh, the human factor is such that uh, we just can't expect all of our people to understand what's going on with a particular patient all the time, and that's where technology comes in. When we looked at the, the premise software in particular, we did look at other vendor solutions, and what we saw from premise is a complete suite of products that meet a lot of the patient flow needs from, from bed turnover, environmental services, to bed placement, to patient escort, and the overall information dashboard approach. Premise designed their piece of software to our operation. We told them the way we wanted it, and um, they, they went back and formed it the way our operation, we wanted it to be. We actually developed a continuum that shows the life cycle of a bed and the patient in the bed. And, and worked with our steering committee to formalize that continuum into the project charter. So the, the scope of the project actually grew. Premises uh, technology, uh, it's telephony integration, it's database, application software, is state of the art and will integrate very easily with the other applications we have here at Bay State. And what we saw from them is a real 
integrated intelligent workflow engine that enabled the efficiency without a whole lot of manual intervention. That differentiated it from other software on the market. Well, Premise uh, establishes a, a process for us so that we don't have to worry quite as much on a day-to-day -day basis as to how we're going to uh, get the job done. We are implementing systems that make the nurses and doctors and other caregivers' jobs better and easier. We know uh, automatically, instantaneously, every moment of every day, uh, what the bed capacity of the institution is. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of trying to uh, determine the resources that we're going to need. Quite honestly, if we were still looking at the old whiteboard uh, technology, I just don't see any way we could have been able to do that. A system that dealt specifically and only with the bed would be able to be used in a hotel setting. And this is obviously not a hotel setting. It really boils down to patient satisfaction. Um, minimizing the weights in the ED, minimizing the weights uh, for a patient to get a bed on the inpatient side for those patients that are admitted, and minimizing the weight for discharge. We want to be able to take the patient from the emergency department and move them to an inpatient bed. And you don't want to have to take a long time to do that because you have other patients that you need to bring in to see, and so they decrease your capacity to see patients. We should be able to say, we're done, the patient's stable, they're admitted. They're going upstairs, they're going home, they're going wherever they're going. 30 seconds we can do all of that work and never have to pick up the phone. The bed management system instantaneously tells us what the capacity is. I would equate it to uh, you know, a radar system that they would use in an air ca traffic controlling setting. It basically gives us a view of the hospital, it's real time. Um, it enables us to be able to see every floor and movement of patients and communicate to the staff which allows them more time with the patients which I think is the biggest thing, biggest value to the whole system is that it doesn't take the nurses away from the patients, it gives them time back to taking care of the patients. We had a very key change in nursing that we were very concerned about and that would be the nurse calling in the dirty bed. We had some pushback and some, uh, maybe some unhappiness from nursing that they felt we were asking them to do one more clinical, non-clinical thing. Uh, that was a, it was a very risky portion of the process changes that we were making. We were greeted with quite a bit of, um, tell me why I have to use this again and why does the nurse have to do that? But ultimately you're dealing with many hundreds of nurses out there and. Uh, you know, they have to collectively decide that they are going to accept this change in order for it to work. When they saw the benefit to them uh, by just putting in that one call, uh, they quickly came around. We had compliance right out of the gate with nursing. They saw immediate benefit to them by, by accepting this change. And literally, by the end of the day, people were saying, I like this. We had the full support of the nurses on the process team. We had the full support of nursing administration and the steering committee for those changes. Fifteen seconds to make a phone call and to have someone there and have that room ready was fabulous. We had a system, but no one believed the data. We never had any real-time data on where our patients actually were. Premise and the bed management really lets you plan and see what your day is going to be like, how heavy, when the nurses can take breaks. And you put, you use data in order to make those decisions and hopefully to maximize your capacity and to turn those beds over as quickly as you can so that the next patient can be in the bed getting the right care that they need. In the good old days, uh, that would be very difficult to do because when you look at a whiteboard, you really have no idea what the reality is in, in terms of the care of that patient. With the bed management system, we're actually able to assess quickly uh, whether this patient's ready to go home, if there are certain actions that need to take place to get them ready to go home, but more importantly, to know who to call, the doctor, the family, to make sure that we can get that person out of here. So one quick glance, we can um, assess what the status of the floor is. The floor understands what's going on and the bed management system, everybody has the same view. I think that we're fortunate to have this this dashboard view so that we can at all times have a real-time accounting of our patient census, um, 
patient detail screen, the, the unit detail screen, so that we can really see at a glance, and you can at a glance see the activity in your unit. Well, I think having the unit on, on the dashboard and being able to enter your discharges in, you know which beds you can book. So you book the beds ahead and you have the list of patients for the day. And we know where we are at a point in time. Rather than having to page several people, have them bring their papers to a meeting and go through the process. And it also gives the clinical staff who are at the bedside more time in their day. They can deal with the bed management issues when they have time to do it, when their patients clinically can allow for them to step away from the bedside. And kind of make some predictions about incoming patients and staffing needs. But I think it's much easier because you can see all your patients, you can plan your day, uh, you can tell bed management which patients you can and can't take. You, as, a, as a manager, I also have the advantage of looking at other units. I cover another surgical unit so I can look at their bed management system, see how many beds they have if we need to share you know, take one patient away or give them a patient that we can't take. Most importantly, we're giving, I think, our nurses a tool to manage their patient um, census at a glance. I think that we'll be able to optimize our patient placement processes um, with the implementation of this tool. And I can tell you what my staff mostly has said is that the beds are available much more frequently than they were in the past. Um, and that people say beds are actually being cleaned between those very odd hours of 2 and 4 in the afternoon where um, we have a great um, changeover of shift. And um, for years we always said in nursing nothing happens between those hours and now they've seen that indeed it happens. It's all about the patient and if in the end it provides a better um, outlook for the hospital, both from a financial perspective as well as a satisfaction perspective, then everyone's a winner. The one thing that this, the, the whole premise system helped us with is we were always held accountable for why there was backlogs in the ED or um, capacity was so great and we needed to turn beds around. The issue was there's not enough housekeepers or you need, re, need to redeploy your staff to hit, hit the peak hours. Um, it must be a housekeeping issue. We kind of take our housekeepers for granted and to give them this tool to really streamline their work um, has been good for them. When we got the software and we're turning beds around in less than 35 minutes and it's all there, any report you pull up, what time that patient left and what time that room was available, it wasn't a housekeeping issue. And they are proud of their turnaround times. I think that we've met some or set some national standards in our turnaround times for beds. So we, we established service levels and we were moving them more from a just-in-time approach to cleaning a bed to a, you know, a defined service level that they would be measured against. And they're proud that they are able to um, do those type of numbers. Um, they take a lot of pride in their work and now they're being recognized for that. Um, anybody, anybody can see the turnaround times that we're achieving. What we're doing using the uh, intelligent workflow engine of, of the premise system is to allocate housekeepers over a wider geographical area. So if multiple beds need to be cleaned in the same unit, uh, prior to the implementation, the second bed would sit until the first, first bed was cleaned by the housekeeper. With this implementation, we'll now divert immediately additional housekeepers to that second bed from another area. In the past, the nurses would actually have to call environmental services and then there'd be a dispatcher who actually had to manually dispatch the environmental services service assistants to then go clean the rooms. And if there's any delay or the service assistants got distracted, there'd be multiple phone calls to track down where that service assistant was, what the status of that bed clean request was. Um, it's built in accountability to the environmental service folks. It's given the managers in the environmental services the tools to know who's doing a bed. If they're not able to do a bed, then it escalates to someone else. All those handoffs, all those phone calls are eliminated. One phone call places the request and through the automated paging and tracking systems, the status of requests, the, the service level, 
responsiveness is all tracked automatically. The system, we add it to the system and the system automatically just dispatches it to the other people. Um, we also monitor it to see, it, make sure the system is flowing, but it's been excellent. The system goes, does its job. They like it um, because now they, they can actually see how many beds they do, plus they also get help. With this new system, the, the system will dispatch other people where before they had in their unit that they had, they would do all the discharges. The day shift started doing a lot more discharges than they ever did before because it was real time. As soon as that patient left, they were getting notified to do it. There's no carryover into the second shift. Um, so they were able to clean a room once as opposed to twice because in the old days, they might have cleaned that room, then the patient got discharged, and then they would have to clean it again. So now, instead of one housekeeper having 15 discharges in a day, that load is shared with other housekeepers across the floor. In terms of the overnight shift, they used to average about 40 to 50 discharges a night, and now they're down to about six because we're n no beds are being carried over into another shift. So they're happy, they're, they're, the, most, they're the happiest group. We really felt that um, we had a new partnership with environmental services that without us making the call they never could get their work done and we've really been able to kind of give them a map for the day of what they're going to do and we see housekeepers coming in and out from other areas uh, to assist somebody who might have a heavy load that day so it's really been very beneficial in our relationship and getting these beds turned over. The system is great because it cuts out a lot of time. It cuts time out for nursing, it cuts time out for, um, for environmental services, it cuts time out for me because the nursing staff goes ahead and enters into the system, the bed, it automatically within minutes goes right to the, the employee. The employee can respond within minutes, put it into the system, and the turnover for the patient is a lot faster by having a sense system. It far exceeded what our uh... Uh, what our expectations would be. And it's really been a collaborative effort, but we really should highlight what our housekeepers really have done. It's, um, it shows accountability to our staff and it's showing their worth to the hospital. From the very first time we started to interact with them about the possibility of using their technologies, uh, have recognized that they're really interested in our success. And what we found with Premise and our staff is that there was a desire to work together in this type of collaborative team approach to really addressing the needs of our clinical staff uh, and to put it in the context of what the technology could provide to us. And, and they're not a company that just drop ship stuff. It's just not the way it works in dealing with them. And that, that's been a great help to us. So it was a real nice marriage of uh, people that uh, wanted to solve a problem, that had the tools to solve the problem, and came together and through a lot of teamwork and collaboration actually did solve the problem. They supported our whole process of looking at the current state, looking at the future state, and really making sure that the software that we deliver to our end users delivered what we uh, had promised them. They're very um, service oriented. They're obviously very passionate about what they're doing probably the single most you know, uh, benefit that I can think of uh, engaging in premise. It's that personalized, customer service oriented, we can help you uh, solve your problems type of attitude that's been most helpful to us. But one of the challenges uh, we always have in healthcare, and this I think is true in any human uh, organization, is really understanding what the impact of the new technology will have on the way work is being done currently. Well, the system requires a lot of different participants, uh, many different departments to um, utilize the applications um, so that it's well coordinated and uh, very effective. And whether we have people who can really make that leap of logic and change the way they're doing their work to take advantage of what the technology has to offer. We assumed, I assumed that because we made a significant number of process changes with the implementation across both nursing and environmental services that it would take us a while to kind of get into gear and get it working. I knew it would work well, but I thought it would take maybe two to three weeks. It took two to three hours. Out of the gate, really, an instant success for us. Think about the four, five, six phone calls you're making now. Think about the f couple of pages you're making now. Thinking about, think about the aggravation you go through trying to get a bed clean when the patient is on, on the way up. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be worth taking a chance on just making the one phone call and trading that one phone call in for all the other uh, phone calls and pages and aggravation being removed. What I now see is a real 
better understanding of what our bed capacity is, what our environmental services, service levels are, and a, a much more efficient patient flow. So that at a glance, we know what our capacity is, we know what we're dealing with, and we know where we are at a point in time. That's flowing right from the ED through the, the placement of the patient, through the discharge and bed turnover process. So all of the workflow changes that were necessary to really exploit uh, the technology were made here and made here very quickly.